Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a swatch and review on the newest palette from Carity and it is the Come As You Are palette. Yay! I am so ready to show you guys what this baby can do. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below that you can check out. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is going to go up on Sunday or if this is going to go up on Tuesday. So either way, this video is going up. I am super stoked over this newest release from Carity. It is the Come As You Are palette. Um, you guys know I've been digging more of like the grungier punk rock tones lately. And this right here was just right up my alley. When I saw sneak peeks of this, I was just like, oh my God, I can't wait till it comes out. And I got it. Um, I did use this for my eye look today. So let's just go ahead and dive on in. Right. Before I get into swatching these shadows for you, let's take a look at what it says on the back of the box. It says, come as you are, 15 matte and shimmer shadows. The grunge movement of the 90s was all about rebellion and breaking the status quo. This palette was inspired by the idea of being different and standing out. So go ahead, express yourself. I, I remember the 90s quite well. And <laughs> yeah, they were all about, you know, standing, standing out. Um, for those of you who may not know, Come As You Are is a title of a Nirvana song. It is a really great song. Um... So for them to name it this and then give it like this edgy vibe, it just really, really spoke to me. And this is what she looks like on the inside. It does come with a insert and it does say the following. It says, this palette helped feed an animal in need. As a 100% cruelty-free brand, we have a big soft spot in our hearts for animals. For every palette we sell, we donate to our local SPCA through our Palettes for Paws initiative. And they do have a hashtag called Palettes for Paws. I will put, pop it at the bottom of the screen. If you guys use any Carity product at all whatsoever, use that hashtag so we can make people aware and this is what she looks like as i said before i did use this whole palette today for my eye look i kind of went with a green grungy with a pop of obnoxious yellow in the inner corner um i really like the packaging on this because if you look real closely well here's the mirror hey guys um if you look real closely it does have like these glossy alien and lightning bolts in it kind of like how this is in the front and on the back it has all the shades and it's actually raised so this packaging is a lot better than their past palettes that i've gotten i have their i have their smoky palette i have their matte palette i have the unicorn dreams and the peachy palette i think it's called peachy palette just peachy or something like that it's a peach palette um but as far as packaging goes this is a really a really good step up from previous palettes that they have you have 15 shadows in this collection you have one two three four five six seven eight nine matte shades and one two three four five six metallic shades this is a really great color scheme it's very different it's very in your face and that's what i what really drew me to it the most is because it is so different it's not just neutrals with you know grungy pops of color it's not it, it's just really different and i really do like how this color scheme is you can pull off so many looks with this bad boy so let's go ahead and start swatching okay we're gonna go across this first row right here they do have names based out of the 90s so I thought that was a nice, cute touch on it, too. The first ones we are going to swatch are, uh, which you guys know I like to say all the time anyways, <laughs> Riot, Seattle, and Drew. Uh is a metallic. Riot is a matte. Seattle is a matte. 
and Drew is a metallic. I actually used Drew a little bit on the inner corner and on my brow bone. I used Riot on my lids today. Well, not on my lid, but y'all know what I mean. It wasn't my transition color. It was like the shade after my transition color. <laughs> This is what they look like. The mattes feel really, really soft. Drew, it's a metallic, but it feels really hard. I, I mean, it just feels really super chalky. But that's what they look like on my finger. No primer on my hand as always. You do get some kick up. Drew is right here. It's very light. But I had no problems building up Riot. It was a really great shade to use. I do have footage of me making this eye look so you guys will be able to see it in action. Um, but Riot was a really good shade. This shade right here, Seattle, is really nice. I do like this shade a lot. Drew is just really, it, it, it's light. It'll probably pop more if the brush is wet. The next shades that we are going to swatch are Deja Vu, Gwen, Dank, and Cool Beans. I love the fact that there is a shade called Cool Beans. I did use Dank today. It is what I, is on my lid and all around. Um... Deja Vu is a metallic, Gwen is a matte, Dank is a matte, and Cool Beans is a matte. Um, Dank and Cool Beans do feel a little chalky, more so Dank than Cool Beans, but Gwen feels nice and soft. That's what they look like on my finger. Hand is dry, no primer on my hand. Ooh. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that pigmentation. I did have a little bit of trouble putting Dank on. It did want to build up kind of patchy, but it did blend out really nice. Um, I really like this shade Cool Beans. It is a very gorgeous um, burnt orange shade. I really do like that. I can't wait to use Deja Vu. That is a gorgeous metallic. It's like, it's purple with this pinky shift to it. Looks really nice. The next shades we are going to swatch are Psych, Tattletale, What's Up, and Live. Um, I do have Psych on the inner corner. I wanted to try to do like an obnoxious bright yellow. It didn't want to go as well as I thought it was going to. What is going on here? Get it together, lower lash line. Jeez. <laughs> it didn't go as well as I wanted it to, but once I put a little bit of Drew on top of it, it popped out even more. Um, Psych is a matte, and it is very, very soft. Um, Tattletail is a metallic. What's Up is a metallic, and Liv is a matte. Liv does feel a little bit chalky, um, and I did use Liv as my transition color, and it made Riot just pop out even more and I really did like how that that took effect that's what they look like on my finger oh Melissa's terrible swatching <laughs> I mean, Psych is a really bright color. I'm just going to have to play with it some more to try and get it to where it'll pop out. It'll probably look good, like, on top of a white base. And Liv does blend out very lightly. It does look like it can be built up there, but it does blend out very lightly. You will see when I roll the footage. And the last shades we are going to swatch are Oh Snap, um, duh, and Bogus. I did use Bogus to deepen up my crease today. Oh Snap is a metallic, um, duh is a matte, and Bogus is a matte. Um, duh and Bogus do feel really soft. 
They are not chalky at all. That's what they look like on my finger. My hand is dry. I mean, look at that pigmentation. That is just insane. And I was able to blend out bogus really well. Um, I mean, as you can see, I'm blending these out right now and they just, most of the times with shades like this, when I use them, they just want to stay put. Um, they don't want to blend out really well. So I am going to clean off my hand. I'm going to roll the footage of me using these eyeshadows and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts, my final thoughts and some pricing. Alrighty, that is the footage of me using the eyeshadows from this palette. Um, I actually enjoy this palette. I really think that this is one that you definitely need to get if you are in the market for these types of tones. Um, they're buildable, they're blendable, they're pigmented, they're just great, great shadows. This palette right here is only $25. I know it's insane the how inexpensive this is and what great quality you are getting. I actually do enjoy Carity's brand. I think they are like severely underrated. Not a lot of people talk about this brand and I don't know why. They are really great and they also have a really great cause, the Palettes for Paws uh, cause. So if you are in the market for these types of tones, I would highly, highly recommend that you guys pick this up. It is a great, great palette. Not only do they have this palette in the Come As You Are, it's like a collection, but they also have four liquid lipsticks as well. They are $6 a piece. They weren't on sale yet when I purchased the palette, but they are on sale now. I love their liquid lipstick formula. They last, they're comfortable. Um, it's just, they're really good, especially for $6. I mean, come on now. But yeah, definitely, definitely get this if you are in the market for these types of tones. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to pick up my glitter palette with Texas House of Glitters. We all know she is super party because she looks like this. Don't forget that these shades are exclusive to this palette only. You cannot purchase these individually. So if you want to get on the glitter goodness that is Hubster, Mama, Sassy Pants, and Bat Squad, you're going to have to pick this bad boy up. I do have a discount code that you can save 15% not only on this palette, but any other item on Texas House of Glitters. And it is right here at the bottom of the screen. I do not earn any money at all whatsoever with this discount code. It is just there for you guys to save some money. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Garrett, on Snapchat as melissalia1223, and on Instagram as melissalia Garrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you see them with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, if that subscribe button is red, it's the wrong color. You need to change it. And don't forget to share this channel out to everyone as well. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though we mainly know I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you all so much, and I will see you on Friday. Bye. Of course, I would drop what I need on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my lower lash line. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I really do like this look. Green highlighter. <laughs>